This presentation is on the Surpresa mineralization 3D exploration model and related RC drill plans. On the first slide we can see a plan view uh, air photo of the Surpresa mineralization as a 3D exploration model with an outline in the goal position of greater than 0.2 gram per ton. It's curved linear in shape as we show along here and about 1.5k in strike length although firm boundaries on the mineralization are not yet established. We have a range of names along the strike length of the mineralization including the roadside area which is roadside north and the plunging chute. This has a strong silver component with the gold system. Then we have the original Surpresa area that was discovered in 2007, the join up area, boundary gate, boundary gate east and trench 31. We're looking to define the high grade controls on the system, principally as we head out to the southeast and to the east. These are exciting discovery growth targets for drilling. Let's now have a look at the 3D exploration model showing gold only. Gold is represented in yellow at greater than 0.2 gram per tonne gold, in red at greater than 0.5 gram per tonne gold, and purple greater than 2 gram per tonne gold. The grid size is shown as 500 metres and the area currently being drilled is at roadside. Let's rotate the 3D model and as we rotate we can see the different directions on the mineralization as it heads out to the east and southeast direction. We'll stop the model in a section looking to the west. The mineralization breaks surface at this location. You can see the boundary gate east area located here and somewhat isolated from the rest of the system due to lack of drilling. The plunge and dip directions on the roadside area are also quite noticeable and the structural controls appear to be the reason for this. The original Surpresa area is also shown here as somewhat isolated and the different plunge positions at roadside shown. As we rotate around to the back of the model these uh, angles are quite evident and the boundary gate east area again shows that it's high grade and isolated yet may come to the surface in one of these other positions. Original Surpresa does not appear to be directly related to the roadside plunging chute and may represent a major leakage anomaly or repeat structure yet to be discovered. Let's have a look at a quick section through this model in the next slide. We have a look at the next slide. This is the section through the model looking west and we have the names of the prospects along the long section of Surpresa. Again you can see the position as it plunges and dips down to the east southeast. We've separated the model in this slide between gold and silver but gold and silver overlap at the roadside area as a co-joint system. Phase 1 of drilling has already started at the roadside. Phase 2 will commence with join up and Phase 3 will try to uh, look at boundary gate and its potential connection to join up. Original Surpresa will also be drilled. At roadside north and roadside uh, we can see the major drilling area is focused on the silver mineralization and so this model only shows the silver mineralization. Of course there is a co-joined gold system with that and those credits are seen as useful. Here is a plan view of the co-joined silver and gold mineralization model. Um, the dots with the arrows represent drill locations. These are pro forma and the actual structure of the program may change. You can see again we have a plunging chute down this way, we are looking at the down dip positions in this way, again looking to define the controls on the high grades. At join up zone we are seeing what the connection could be to the high grade uh, surface position as it trends down to boundary gate east. This particular slide 
is uh, showing again the suppressor mineralization and the IP or induced polarization chargeability anomaly as outlined here. We have a chargeability high which appears spatially related to the suppressor mineralization area and is particularly interesting in terms of its uh, location with the boundary gate east drilling. In this location here, four out of the six holes uh, achieved a high grade of gold at double digits or better, including one metre at 114 gram gold. One of the holes also showed in an RC chip visible coarse gold. This area here is particularly interesting because the geophysics of the IP is also reinforced in our view by the gravity geophysics at this location. So in summary, we're looking to achieve at Roadside North an extension and understanding of the down dip and down plunge positions principally guided by the silver mineralization. At Roadside we're looking to re-engage with the plunging gold shoot. At Original Surpraiser we are trying to determine how the mineralization at surface relates to the rest of the expression of the surpraiser mineralized system. The original surpraiser system appears identical in character yet has no direct connection to the major mineralization we see at surpraiser currently. It could be a major leakage anomaly or a repeat structure. Join up, we'll try to resolve the high grade gold plunge position and its relevance to Boundary Gate East. And at Boundary Gate East, we're looking to expand the high grade gold position already established there across a 100 metre zone and see if that can be expanded to a larger area. The program has real potential for a large impact on the company and its operations. Thank you very much.